Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo, we're here at the South Park Center and I'm delighted to be joined with Sakai with his movie, Orbital Christmas. Let's take a look at the clip. Cargo from the moon has docked successfully. Great. V3, begin unloading cargo, please. Alert. The hell? Where am I? Are you all by yourself? Yeah. Everyone's on Earth for the holiday. Yeah, it's Christmas. What the hell were you thinking hitching a ride on that module? Oh, so now you got nothing to say? Um... Sakai, it's an honor to have you here, all the way from Japan to be with us at New Filmmakers yeah. LA. Thank you very, very much. No, for being no, here. thank you so much for welcome and, and this meeting. It's very my pleasure for this. Well, everyone loved you and loved your film at New Filmmakers yesterday. For okay. those, it was an incredible experience mm. and so wonderful to see on the big screen. Mm. For those that haven't seen your film, tell us a little bit about what it's about. Oh, it's set in the near future. Uh, in the space station, uh, circling uh, around the Earth. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a Christmas season, and there is a w only one uh, space uh, spaceman working in that s station. Mm -hmm. He is a Muslim, mm -hmm. but he m meet a Japanese girl there, and mm -hmm. that girl want to look. Uh, go to us and look for her missing father. Yeah. And this story about uh, the Muslim uh, young man mm -hmm. who tried to help her and tried to you know, cheering up her so he want, she want to celebrate Christmas. Yeah. He's not a Christian. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it was, it was it's such a great story. And mm. I, he, he, I mean, your, your actors were there yesterday. They yeah. did such a fantastic job. Where did the inspiration come for you in making this film? <laughs> it's a crazy thing, but uh, <laughs> I really, uh, one night I dreamed about the big Christmas tree floating in the space. I love that, and you turned it into a film. It's so wonderful yeah. to go. So, and I started to think how to make the story ended up that uh, image. So, mm -hmm. and on the other hand, I went to the USC film school yep. from 2007 to 2010, and uh, I lived with uh, in small up uh, graduate students' apartment with uh, some of the Muslim students from. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Middle East, mm -hmm. and I met those people uh, there. So and very impressed. They are so kind. They are so. S most of them are uh, uh, work, uh, studying technology, and yep. they are so scientific, and they are so religious too. Mm -hmm. And that, but you know, nowadays things going south. Everybody hates each other about the difference of the race, uh, nation, and uh, or religions, and mm -hmm. so I want to, you know, cheer up the people uh, who want the peaceful and you know uh, living together kind of yeah. thing. So you did it so well, Sakai. Yeah. You did it so very well. It was such a beautiful story. Um, and it was it was magical. It felt magical. <laughs> Thanks um, so much. <laughs> it really did. Um, what was fascinating to me is the technology, the the, mm. the, the, the effects that you used mm. were one of the best I've seen in the short film. Like really astounding. You're very super talented. Um, you made this all on a green screen, right? Yes, 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 yes. Wow. Just you know, table and chair <laughs> is a physical one. Everybody, everything else is a. Uh, uh, after the shooting, yeah. Yeah, and how do you how do you like how do you direct on a green screen? Is it difficult to do that? No, no, at all. no. Yeah, uh, it's like the act on the stage. Mm -hmm. uh, actor yes. doing everything yep. without any anything on, around mm -hmm. them, but it's just same as that. You mm -hmm. know? For, so 
if actors are uh, preparing well and uh, keeping their minds about the circumstances, mm -hmm. it's too easy. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, what was, um, I mean, I know that you're very experienced. Um, you know, you're, you, have a, you do fantastic work back in Japan um, in animation, which is why the film was so clever and he's, you were so good. Um, but w what I was going to say is, what was the biggest, was there any challenges you had making this film? You know, I went to the uh, USC film school. Mm -hmm. It was, yeah, challenge and <laughs> so <laughs> difficult to graduate. Yeah. But this film, it's very easy, piece of cake, because of the, I had uh, help of my friends from, the, uh, from here and in Japan, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, about the uh, visual effects, I borrowed the hands of the, uh, top-notch people of the Japanese animation peoples. And here, uh, I just got the help from the, uh, my ex-classmates. Mm -hmm. And, and e everybody is uh, professionals, mm -hmm. so it's easy so for, for me. I think my greatest uh, task for this movie is write the, the <laughs> story and everything else is <laughs> uh, stuff and the crews. Uh, yeah. Thing, so. And you had your actors there last night, which was special. You had your actors of your film mm -hmm. there with you. Um, what was it like working with them? Because, you know, it's only two people in this yeah, film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was it, wor it working with them? I'm not sure because we, uh, I did uh, audition mm -hmm. and uh, uh, f rehearsals uh, uh, whole days mm -hmm. and uh, all of those uh, situations they really try to prepare and try to be that characters mm -hmm. so it's very easy for me to talk with them but they love my story and yeah uh, that's the key I th seeing your film on the mm -hmm. big screen was like you have to see it on the big screen to really appreciate it. How it, was that experience? Yeah, this is my first time uh, seeing the, the, my uh, uh, movie in front of the people and on really? the big screen. Because, you wow. know, uh, by, by the pandemic, I didn't go to any film festival. Yeah. This is my first one to come here, is, uh, come to the festival at first time. So wow. it's a pure joy. Oh. Well, I mean, it was so special having you come to bring it to New Filmmakers LA because it was such an incredible experience to see your film on the big screen. You, you know, you certainly yeah, deserve yeah. it. We really do. Um, so Kai, what is next for you? And as a writer for Japanese animation, mm -hmm. I am doing four projects right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, one is uh, very original sci-fi stuff with a Japanese very famous creator. And the other three is based on the US content. Oh, wow. I can't say any more about okay, that. Okay, we'll be quiet. We'll be quiet. We'll mention anything, okay? <laughs> but, um, uh, everything is, I, I, it's fun to mm -hmm. do that. And as a you know, director of the live action films, I, I want to try to pitch the idea of the future version of the Mm -hmm. of Dark Christmas uh, the, the, to the investors and trying to make yeah, the much longer, longer version mm -hmm. of this story. Yeah, I'd love that. would be fantastic, a yeah, longer yeah. version. This story is really, really yeah. epic and, and wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, Sakai, lastly, to, fin to finish the final question, from your experience at USC, from being a filmmaker, yeah. from all the experience you've had, do you have any advice for any filmmakers out there? Oh, yeah, it's just one thing, uh, don't drop out, don't give up, just, <laughs> uh, it takes time, so <laughs> never give up and trying to do, continue everything you want to do that. That is so important, thank yeah. you. Well, it has been a pleasure to have you here with us in Los Angeles. Um, we're so proud of you and your film and we're always going to support you for all your future work as well. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll never let you go. <laughs> but thank you very much. Thanks Sakai. so much. Really appreciate it. Orbital yeah. Christmas, everybody.